Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Glad to be back. I'm still under the weather, but not as bad as I was. Um, as you guys know, I posted in a community page that uh, I've been sick for a while. It's been 10 days or so since my last video. And, you know, I've tried everything to get, to, I've thrown a whole kitchen sink at this thing. And my voice right now, this is the clearest my voice has been all day. Um, usually in the mornings it's just gone. Or sometimes late at night it disappears. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about me being sick. Uh, I so, so let's go ahead and start this out. Let's go ahead and start this out. Um, so I, I said last year, I said, hey man, you know, I'm, I need to take a break from Chile. I need to stop talking about Chile. Um, I wish everybody would stop talking about Chile because we're just giving him uh, more views. Uh, channel's growing, we know, but it's bots. I know Chile pays for it, in my opinion. Uh, we all know this. Everybody knows this. Chile can't maintain a uh, thousand viewers on a live, which you know he does like to say, "Hey, I've got three thousand people watching or thousand people watching," when usually only a hundred people watch. Um, now, I don't know about his VODs. I'm sure those are botted too. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense that somebody has close to sixty thousand followers or subscribers does not get that much uh, traffic. Uh, so, obviously something's wrong there, in my opinion. I can't prove it. But anyways, I said I wasn't going to talk about Chile. And then today, then today, during my lunch break, I ran across this video uh, by a member named Globermont. Um, the, the video title was A Delete Laws 1984. Hello, police department, I want to speak to your supervisor. So basically what it is, there was a case where a man had cancer. He was smoking marijuana. The people said, hey, he's smoking marijuana. The cops came with a reasonable search because marijuana is illegal in most places. And Chile thinks that his rights was violated. Now, okay. Okay, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, marijuana, I, I don't think marijuana is a drug. Um, I don't think so. I, it doesn't bother me. Like, me saying, hey, I want to smoke a joint, yeah, that doesn't bother me. Um, but I do know it's not legal. I know it's not legal in my country. Well, not country. Uh, in my area. Unless you buy something like Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10s, uh, which is uh, derivatives of THC. You can have that stuff. But this isn't about marijuana. So what it's really about is how Chile takes a, a source, doesn't look into the source, and goes all swinging into innocent people that has nothing to do with the issue. Which from what I can tell, from what I can tell, the video that was in question, the 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 issue that was in question actually took place over a year ago, if I'm right. Uh, you know, I watched enough video just to, uh, I was like, okay, okay, maybe we should talk about this. And anyways, he goes off on this lady who was just answering the phone, uh, feeding her all kinds of bullshit about how he's uh, the fucking uh, constitutional scholar and he knows more and he's going to come talk to the manager because he's a Karen and he's also a big dumb queer. Uh, we know that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get demonetized for calling Chili a big dumb queer. Sorry, you are a big dumb queer, uh, in my opinion. That's that's not me making fun of the LGBTQ community. So I do apologize for that. If that offends you, I do apologize. But, but Chili is a BDQ. Um, and I would like to get that started, by the way. If you can hashtag B Chili is a BDQ or BDQ Chili, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Don't don't tell him that I sent you. I don't tell him I sent you. He's going to try to get you for uh, First Amendmenting. He doesn't know anything about the First Amendment, but he's going to get it. He's going to take it away because he's a totalitarian piece of shit. And I do hate to come off hard because I really, like I said, I... You know, I could have walked away. I'd be like, ah, I'm the bigger man. I'm not going to... I am the bigger man. Um, I am the bigger man. Chili. 
I am the bigger man. I stood next to you. I, I know how small you are, short bastard. <clears throat> but anyways, anyways. So, this person got caught in a crossfire here. And he harasses this lady. And again, she's just doing her job. And he's basically comparing her to a Nazi. But she even says that. He even says, well, that's what the Nazi said. So Chile is no different than some of these, like, uh, ultra left-wing, um, I can't even say it. I don't even want to say libtard because I'm not, I'm, I consider myself liberal. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about. These ultra-sensitive, uh, left-leaning people that have nothing better to do but cry and ask for the government to, you know, do more for them. I mean, that's what Chile does. Chile gets upset, cries to the government, or cries to the police, which he protests. He hates the police, but he cries to the police. And that, that's, a, that's a thing with First Amendment auditors, um, generally. Whenever something bad happens to them, just like most hypocrites do, they call the police. Then after the police come and uh, shake their hands and kiss their feet like they want... You know, they go back and doing the same thing. But whenever trouble comes, they ask for daddy government or daddy police officer to come help them. It's hypocritical. I mean, that's basically the show. A First Amendment auditor is just a show. And I'm not trying to attack all First Amendment auditors because there's some good ones. There's some that's not fucking idiots. But most of them are. Most of them are. Glenn Serio, he's one. He's a big fucking idiot uh and apparently he's back um and there's several others i i i watched the videos i watched the clips Motion detected at the front door the police are here the police are here because i said bdq um it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense it's very hypocritical these people are carrot beyond carrot these are the people what's going to hold up your fucking movie time when you're out going to go see a movie or out to dinner with your beloved and that person gets up in front of the line and screams at the you know the clerk that has nothing to do with the movie being bad it's like i want to talk to your manager these this is those people this is karen's if you ever wanted to know what a karen is first amendment auditors are karen's most of them now i'm sure that will make a lot of enemies but i do have some people that i like that are First Amendment auditors. I do talk to First Amendment auditors. I'm not saying all First Amendment auditors are bitches. Just some of them. A lot of them. The most, Mostly the ones you see that are bigger on YouTube that have a bigger ego than they have a dick. Um, and that's true too. And I'm back. I'm back making a chili. Look at my, look my hat just coming off. Just coming off. I'm sure, I'm sure this video will get demonetized. Um, but anyways, anyways, everything I'm saying here, by the way, it's my opinion. I can't prove it. Can't prove it. I like, I love my First Amendment rights. It's awesome. It lets me say things like that on the internet. Not, not the way I wanted to start it, uh, 2023 talking about Chile, but it kind of hit, struck a nerve with me, right? You know, I, I, you know, I take a look at my YouTube homepage. No chili, uh, no First Amendment auditing, uh, none of that. None of that's there anymore. None of it. And I know some people's going to be like, well, you're not getting views, so you decided to make a chili video. Hey, you know what? If we're going to make money off chili, I might as well make money off chili. Uh, hit it while the iron is still hot, but the iron is not hot. It's still cold. It's still cold. The algorithm doesn't give a fuck anymore about chili. Uh, but chili, for some odd reason, keeps growing in numbers but he can't he can't get the support but you know there's really good people out there really nice people i'm sure we disagree on things i'm sure we do better on chili's side um a uh, good one and i know a lot of people might hate this but rights on um rights on he i think he supports chili but i think rights on also knows that chili's a fucking idiot um, and I think if you support Chile, if you support him, you would want more out of this. 
This is all a game to him. This is money in the bank for him. He doesn't care about you. He didn't give a shit about the Bora Rogers. He had to bring her back from the fucking grave. He didn't he didn't care about that. What's, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? What authority does Chili have? Oh, I'm going to call the manager of the police people, and I'm going to tell them that their rights suck, and you need to get fired for a year. I am over you. I am the king. I am the alpha. Are you, are you the alpha, Chili? Are you? You're a bitch, Chili. You're a beta bitch. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. You couldn't make it as a Power Ranger, so that automatically you're fucking beta. So and and you're crying to managers and harassing women. You harass that lady on the phone when all she's doing was doing her job, calling her a Nazi. That pisses me off. That pisses me off. And you think this is fun. You think you have some kind of authority where you can push people around when nobody really gives a fuck what you say. Everybody that watches you fucking hates you. They dislike you. Yeah, you got Gloria, whatever her name is, who every time you fart, she, oh, God, Chili's the greatest. But at the end of the day, end of the day, everything you do, is a joke. And you're the only one that's laughing. You ha- you laugh like a fucking hyena. And I think, I, I honestly think, I think that your followers, the ones you have left, should just walk away from you. Find somebody new. A lot of people are walking away anyways. It doesn't really matter. This video will get a lot of views. You know why? Because it has Chili De Castro in it. You'll get a lot of views because people hate you. You know, I hate to be that guy that says, hey, fucking people hate you. But a lot of people hate you. They really do. And I go, you're going to cry to YouTube and try to get me DMC. There's no content on here, but it belongs to you. There's nothing here. Everything I've said has been my opinion. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. You should You should look into the First Amendment. Before you file DMCA claims, copyright strike everyone. You're a bitch, dude. You are a beta, big, dumb queer. That's what you are. That's what you are. And I hope, I hope that catches on. I really do. I hope people catch on. Chili is a BDQ. Ch- Sorry, Chili. It's, I had to make the video. I had to bring back the mad hat, the mad fat boy. I know you're going to call me a fat boy, fat loser. It says it has no mission. I have a, more of a mission than you do. Honestly, I do. I, I think what I stand up stand for is much greater than what you even think you stand for. See, what I stand for is people not getting ripped off. People not committing suicide. People not getting bullied. People not being scammed by Ponzi scheming bitches like you, in my opinion. Can't prove it. You want an army, you want an army of people? You got it. But the army hates you, Napoleon. It's they're not gonna listen to you. So go back to your fasting or whatever. Again. This may, I, you know, I guess if we're starting back, I guess we get back to making chili videos. At least until you're done, done and gone, which is pretty, pretty much happening now. I'm sorry, dude. Get back to doing something you're good at, which is being a Ponzi scheming bitch. Why don't you pay that money back to those investors? Why don't you help those victims? Oh, the, you, yeah, you didn't have victims. Why don't you tell people the truth about all of your arrests? Your lawsuits. Tell them how you're losing all. Let's let's see how what happens when you sue Google. Let's see what happens there. I'm sure something great's gonna happen with it. It's it's it is first class like, mm, like super good, sir urgent car- yeah, caviar. I can't even talk. Can't even talk. Can't even talk.
I don't know why it got to me. I don't know why. Like I said, I haven't made a chili video in a while. And I know, like I said, I don't know what it looks like. It's going to be like, oh, you haven't got any views, so you made a chili video to get views. Well, the things I've said in this video is probably going to get it demonetized. It doesn't really matter what I say here. Uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying what I said. But let me go ahead and tell you this. If you are part of the LGBTQ community, that's not aimed at you. Being called a queer is not a bad thing. Um, you hear gender queer, queer, like you hear queer all the time. Um, so I don't, I don't want to see people being like, oh, you're a homophobe. Because I'm not. I, I'm definitely not. It's just the way it is. Um, you know, unlike Chili, but Chili likes to use the F word slang for uh, the LGBTQ people. He likes to use that. We've had, there's videos of him saying that. You know, he went after Merb because Merb said it. Asked to apologize. Chili, nobody's going to apologize to you. You have no authority to make anybody apologize for your bullshit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I just said it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. When, when are you coming back to Ashley? When are you coming back to Ironton? When are you going to be a man and come back to Ironton? When are you going to be a man and come back to Ashley? I haven't heard you talk about Chad Good in a while. And maybe because I haven't been, been paying attention to you for a while. Motion detected at the front door. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been too long of a video. Um, like I said, it may get you listed. I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. I'm pretty sure it will get something happen. I'm sure it will get struck for hate speech. But that really, that really pissed me off. Like, yeah, it sucks that the police had to come in for a marijuana thing. That sucks. Sucks. But it was reasonable. If you do, if you commit a crime and they suspect it's a crime, which marijuana in most states, it's illegal, especially in some type of public building, which was it a nursing home or a hospital where this was? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I don't know what you you're going you're going to do by calling people to uh, bitch them out because you're not man enough man enough to say it to their faces. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You're you're man enough to say it to their faces because you know there's no repercussions for your actions. You're just basically you basically like the cat standing in front of a kennel. That's fully caged, electric fence, and holding your fucking ball sack at him and saying, Come get me, come get me, dog. Come get me, dog. They can't do anything to you. If you was a real man, maybe you should fight some of these people instead of running away from them. You're, you know how that went. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm done. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, if you guys want more chili content, let me know. Um, I, I really don't want to, um, but I figure I'd kind of chime in every once in a while. Like I said, I, I'm not completely done with chili, but I'm completely done with chili most of the time. So, also, like I said, don't take the BDQ thing as hate speech or me hating the LGBTQ community, because I don't. So, you know, I'll say it. That's, that's fine. And if you think I am then that's fine too. <clears throat> that's fine too. But I love you guys very much and I'll see you soon. Oh, there's a girl called Chili and the boys all love her so they love her so. Oh, they love her so they love her so.